episode 10, The Surgeon's Knot. So many episodes in now, kind of a milestone for me. That's a lot of testing right there. Must be a few thousand knots in now and I'm still enjoying every minute. Welcome to Toyed Fishing. If you're returning, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new, you're very welcome here. I hope you enjoy this episode of The World's Strongest Knot. where we're aiming to put together a knot resource for every fisherman to refer to so we have a place detailing actual knot testing data on calibrated equipment. So let's see if the simplest fishing knot of all time has got it where it counts. So this is the bit I say to all my subscribers, grab a brew. Let me just unpack that really quickly. That means hit the pause button, get the kettle on, grab your favorite mug and get a coffee or a tea bag in the cup and get making a hot one. Then sit down and enjoy this episode with me. Hopefully it's engaging enough for you to enjoy the results and learn how this knot or these different knots behave in a controlled repetitive environment. Just a summary of our broad parameters. Number one, remaining unbiased, no mention of line manufacturers. Number two, testing knots in monofilament, fluorocarbon and in braid. Number three, testing knots on five different line weight categories. 10 pound, 30 pound, 50 pound, 80 pound and 100 pound. Number four, all knots compared to the actual 100% line strength that we've measured right here on this machine. Not what it says on the manufacturer's packaging label statement or strength statement. Number five, batch control on lines, including retesting. Number six, our results will be converted into percentages and compared against the main line, which will be the baseline or the maximum achievable strength. Number seven, we'll give you data on the exact amount of wraps used. And number eight, overall percentage for the knot for each of the line to line categories, mono to mono, braid to mono, and braid to fluoro. And finally, number nine, over 500 results were compared on this knot. This is the first episode of knot testing where we look at line-to-line -line connections. So unlike terminal knots, which we've done a few reviews on this far, the line-to-line -line connections really do get the brunt of punishment when it comes to fishing. Where the terminal knots have a rigid end to fix to, be that a hook, a lure, swivel, and line to line have both ends in a more supple state. Where you're faced with so many combinations and configurations that all bring their own challenges. Like the braid line cutting into mono or fluoro leader. Or even the braid line rubbing over itself within the mono braid knot or fluoro knot and it cutting itself under load, etc, etc. It took months of deliberation as to which combinations and categories I'd base this new line-to-line -line connections on. I sought a lot of advice from good friends, subscribers on this channel, and research I did on the internet, finally opting for these three categories. Let's take a look. Number one, monofilament to monofilament in seven different categories, including variable line thicknesses. Number two, braid to monofilament in also seven different categories, including variable line thickness and finally number three braid to fluorocarbon in seven different line categories including variable line thicknesses and including a bonus thick braid to thin fluoro category requested by one of my subscribers who targets a lot of tuna out of san diego where these tuna become very line shy and they end up using a 50 to 60 pound braid main line with a 20 to 30 pound fluoro slightly unusual but um, I decided to add this to the category, it's a great idea. Alright, let's get straight in to the results and see which combinations fared well and also get an idea of the amount of wraps used to prevent slipping in these knots. Mono de mono, let's take a look. I'm particularly interested in the variable line weights to see how these fared. 10 pound mono main line to 10 pound mono leader. Actual measured line strength 12.77 pounds, two wraps and 43.17%. 30 pound mono main line to 30 pound mono leader 
with an actual measured line strength of 41.76 pounds, two wraps, and 45.12%. 30-pound mono main line to 50-pound mono leader with the weakest actual measured line strength of 41.76 pounds, three wraps was used, two wraps in fact did slip, and 59.06 percent 50 pound mono main line to 50 pound mono leader with an actual measured line strength of 66.33 pounds two wraps and 50.14 percent 50 pound mono main line to 80 pound mono leader with the weakest actual measured line strength of 66.33 pounds two wraps and 53.99 percent 80 pound mono main line to 80 pound mono leader actual measured line strength of 106.05 pounds two wraps and 44.68 percent and 100 pound mono main line to 100 pound mono leader with an actual measured line strength of 128.27 pounds two wraps and 44.19 percent right let's take a look at braid main line to monofilament leader or shock leader Pay particular attention to the amount of wraps used. Please note, when we're testing on these knots, we start off with the least amount of wraps. If it slips, we restart the test, add a wrap, and then start again. 10 pound braid main line to 10 pound mono leader with the weakest line strength of 12.77 pounds, four wraps was used, and 65.77%. 30 pound braided main line to 30 pound mono leader with the weakest line strength 36.1 pounds, six wraps was used and 67.37%. 30 pound braided main line to 50 pound mono leader with the weakest line strength of 36.10 pounds, six wraps was used and 78.03%. 50 pound braided main line to 50 pound mono leader the weakest line strength of 55.48%, five wraps was used and 60.28%. 50 pound braided main line to 80 pound mono leader, the weakest line strength of 55.48 pounds, five wraps was used and 58.88%. 80 pound braided main line to 80 pound mono leader, with the weakest line strength of 103.72 pounds, Five wraps was used and 49.78%. 100 pound braided main line to 100 pound mono leader with the weakest main line strength of 93.59 pounds. Five wraps was used and 63.06%. Right, finally, braid main line to 100% fluorocarbon leader. This will probably be the most sought after category as a lot of people opt for this scenario when fishing. 10 pound braided main line to 10 pound fluoro leader with the weakest line strength of 12.38 pounds, five wraps was used and 68.38%. 30 pound braided main line to 30 pound fluoro leader with the weakest line strength of 31.23 pounds, five wraps was used and 67.55%. 30 pound braided main line to 50 pound fluoro leader the weakest line strength of 36.10 pounds, five wraps and 66.82%. 50 pound braided main line to 30 pound fluoro leader with the weakest line strength of 31.23 pounds, five wraps was used and 57.67%. 50 pound braided main line to 50 pound fluoro leader with the weakest line strength of 41.63 pounds, five wraps was used and 69.06 percent 50 pound braided main line to 80 pound fluoro leader with the weakest line strength of 55.48 pounds five wraps was used and 59.22 percent 80 pound braided main line to 80 pound fluoro leader with the weakest line strength of 60.7 pounds five wraps was used and a whopping 80.71 percent right tip of the day this is coming after the results today and there's a reason for this. All the results for both fluoro and mono leader was tested with the first braid wrap flipped over the mono on the standing inside of the knot. So the tip is this, always ensure the first braid wrap is not cutting on the standing end braid main line. It must be flipped over the mono or the fluoro loop. Let me show you. Once you have five wraps and you begin to cinch down, just flip the braid loop over the mono. If you don't, the braid cuts into the braid main line and really weakens the knot. 
I had some hundred pound line breaking under 31 pound load when this was not done. It's really, really important. Let's just briefly look at one aspect for each category, mono de mono. If you remember the results from the Stopper Knot, World's Strongest Knot, episode 9, click right here if you've not watched that. You'll remember that we had an average knot strength for the double overhand knot of 66.6%. Now interestingly, when looking at the same knot using two different lines, the results are much poorer. This would indicate a lot more movement and rubbing within the knot. Great to monofilament. It's incredible to think that over all the line weight categories, how consistent the average percentage is. Remarkable, really. And braid to fluoro, one of the observations I had, apart from the fluoro line strengths being somewhat of a concern due to the lack of strength for such a prestigious line manufacturer. If you look at the heaviest line category, 80 to 80, the high abrasion of the fluoro certainly prevented the knot from failing, so much so it actually achieved an incredible overall result. That's impressive really. Alright, let's take a look at the leaderboard for the line to line connections. I know this is the first episode and it may be a little bit lonely up there, but it'll be interesting to see the overall results for the three categories. Mono to mono, let's see the average over the seven line configurations. 48.62%, slight disappointment there if I'm honest. Bray to mono, let's take a look. 63.31%, not bad, a better result. Just make sure you get the right amount of wraps if you're using this knot, it will slip. And finally, Bray to fluoro. 67.06%, .06 now that's a lot better. Seems the extra abrasion resistance certainly helps this knot outperform on the mono variant. As I've said many times, braid line with all its microfibers all woven in together creates a real challenge for any knot, especially if it gets a very slim chance of rubbing against itself within the knot. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching Toy Fishing. If you have any questions, comment below or anything you've seen in this video that you're unsure of, please write me a message below. I'd be happy to respond. Stay tight, stay toy, and until next time, <laughs> tight lines. Cheers, guys, and girls. I know. Um, and finally, number nine, over 500. And finally, number nine, over 500. Or shock leader. Pay particular attention to. Particular attention to leader. This will probably be. Jeez, I'm probably particularly. <laughs> right, finally, braid mainline to 100% fluorocarbon leader. This will probably, probably, <laughs> oh dear. Right, <clears throat> right, finally, braid mainline to 100% fluorocarbon leader. This will probably be, probably, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! Oh, this sucks. Upper knots, world's strongest knot, episode. Uh, nine click right here <laughs> click right <sighs>